go time. First ultrasound. Well, not the first, but... One of many. One of many. Let's yeah. start this process the first. Yeah, so good luck. Have fun. Is that what you're supposed to say in this situation? Not at all. <laughs> good luck. Cheerio! <laughs> so we're here at the fertility clinic in Winnipeg again. And she's got to go in for an ultrasound. This is literally the beginning of go time for the IVF procedure that we're, uh, we're going for right now. Next week, we'll be here every second day or so. I'll let her explain everything to you uh, when she comes back down. But I got to wait in the car because I'm, I'm still not allowed to go up there with her. And uh, my thoughts on that are irrelevant, but I have to wait down here. So I guess I could go into a little bit of it. Uh, this week is when she starts injections. For, uh, you know, we have to give, she's got to give herself or I've got to give her needles every day. One of us is, she's got to take a needle every day. And uh, it's going to be really rough on her body. So she's got, uh, I think, two weeks off work now, which is really awesome that her work is really helping us out. My work is really helping us out as well. Uh, I don't have every day off, but uh, work knows that I'm going to be needing a lot of time off because I'm going to be driving her in for all of these appointments. So it could be every second day, or it will be every second day. I just don't know if it'll be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or if it'll be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. That's something we'll all figure out. But welcome everybody. It's Sunday today. I'm glad you're here with us. Uh, don't forget to hit the, the, the like button. I know this isn't a regular vlog on my channel. Uh, we won't be doing any trucking today, but we'll be filling you in on our uh, journey to become parents here. If you're new to the channel, uh, uh, we have uh, gone through uh, several rounds of IUI if you're familiar with this stuff. And now is time for IVF. Trying to have our uh, first baby. Chevy, Diesel. You guys concerned about mom? Who wants the needles? <laughs> so we jumped ahead uh, until we got home. We uh, talked to you guys outside the fertility clinic there. And from there we had to go and pick up uh, prescriptions. These are the big ones. Plethora of Injectable drugs. Not the fun kind, though. <laughs> Not the fun kind at all. Uh, I'm kind of glad I don't got to go through this, but I feel bad for feeling that way. <laughs> he bought me a blizzard. Made up for it. And some clothing. So. Blizzards fi fix everything. So, uh, let's show them what we all got here. Alright. So, these here is that, right? Nope. nope that's different. This These are the first ones. So she's got to take two needles. I'll let you explain. <laughs> this is my Menoper, which I believe is like a menopause drug. But uh, So we're going to take this liquid and use two of these powdered vials and mix it together in a syringe. So this is one day, this is one day, and then we have another pack. Yeah. Is this it? For a total no, of five days, one. right? For a total of five days, and then I go back for an ultrasound. Okay. So results of the ultrasound. I had 14 follicles, which is a decent number. It's not as many as I hope for, but you have too many, it gets extra painful and I'm already dying, so. Yeah, so hopefully they all respond to this medication and they get them all during the surgery. This is the first needle that you take every day for five days, right? Right. Okay, so. Some liquid and some powder that gets dissolved into them. And those are the syringes. Yeah, the syringes, but where's the needle? That's for medical waste, but that's what this is for, the sharps container. Sharps container. Biohazard. You're a biohazard now. You're a biohazard. You're putting that stuff in you. Oh shoot, I forgot to put it. You're gonna start glowing. Lime green. So after she takes the first syringe, the first needle, then this is the second needle. And this comes in like a pre-packaged syringe and everything. 
It's very technical. I'm lost, guys. I can't find the actual needles for this. Are they not in these packages? It's not included in that somewhere? No. These are... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, there they are. Oh. <laughs> Found them. Found them. Crisis, Crisis averted. Averted. I was going to say the same thing. We've been married for a while. Yeah. Okay, I found the needles. Okay. Um, so where are you gonna, where do you put them? Uh, Show the... Just below the navel line. So right around here and never in the same spot. So like an inch apart each day. So I have some bruises, but no big deal. I'm not scared of needles. I hope none of you are either. If you are squeamish, turn away. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna show ourselves. Well, I don't know if you're gonna do it. If I'm gonna do it. I'll do one and you can do one. Okay. This will be fun. I kind of I kind of want to do one. We're bonding. So we are going to show the needles and uh, as they're being injected into her on her stomach. So like she was saying, if you don't like needles, just a heads up. There's going to be needles coming up here soon. There shouldn't be any soon. blood though, I don't think. Like I'm not drawing back and there shouldn't be any blood. If there is, it'll literally be the tiniest little dot after I pull out the needle, but it shouldn't be anything to write home about. Especially with Trucker Josh, he gets squeamish with large amounts of human blood. Just human blood. I don't like human blood. It's supposed to be inside the body. It doesn't belong outside the body. So uh, if you're wondering, for those of you who are wondering what it, this all costs, for these, so whatever you call these things, for all of this, it was about $2,200. Yes. And just it's for five days. Just for five days, yeah. And there will be more yet, so that's not it. It's $2,200 plus there's more next week. But we have to wait. Wait till then. Yeah, ultrasound. And then I'm on, I think, just this one after that. Okay. But possibly a different dosage. And for the procedure of all of these ultrasounds and the uh, harvesting of going in to get the eggs, the surgery, Everything up until what they call the transfer, where they actually implant the blastocyst. Everything up to there cost well, $8,820 Canadian here in Manitoba for that. And we there, there's a really good tax program in Manitoba, so we actually get a lot of that back uh, when we claim our taxes next year. So that'll help quite a bit. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm All right. to, uh, okay, I help you? so you know what? Maybe if I just take out what I need, and then it won't seem so overwhelming. Okay. We've never done this before, guys. You are learning as we are learning. This is a very overwhelming process. And aside from my one cousin and his wife who did this years ago, I don't have anybody to ask about this and she barely remembers the process because it's been a while. We didn't film the first ones. We wanted to get a good grip of how everything worked before filming ourselves doing it. Would have been very embarrassing the first night. I think I was more stressed out than she was. <laughs> there was a bit of anxiety involved. But yeah, we'll go through all of the stuff she's got to uh, she's got to do here. She's got two needles she's got to take once a day for five days, and then we go back and get more. <laughs> After another ultrasound. Yeah. Yesterday was successful though. I have. 14 follicles ready to grow so hopefully they all take I know the likelihood of that happening is not very large but uh, yeah hopefully the more the, the merrier it would be great if 14 would make it that'd be excellent so that'd be like 14 eggs and then they would try to fertilize all 14 but first they gotta get them out though yeah there's a surgery coming out and that surgery is next week right probably end of next week or so uh mid-april sometime yeah we're filming what is it the fourth fifth fourth fourth so about a week and a half away i think yeah mm. alcohol swabs i just washed my hands uh we'll do this one first and what's that you got there menoper so there's three vials for every day right yeah, one liquid, two powder. We gotta take half the liquid and, and mix it into both powders and then that'll be one needle. Keep in mind, not every fertility clinic uses the same 
drugs and stuff and everybody's body responds differently. And who knows, if this doesn't work, they might change it up for me. But hopefully it does, because mm. I'd really rather not do this again. So what are these needles doing? Uh, I'm just keeping my uh, eggs from dying off, making them grow. Going against nature. And it's regulating your uh, cycle too, right? Is that what these are doing? Uh, or is that next month? No, nothing will regulate my cycle, I don't think. Um, it'll keep me, they'll put me on something to keep me from ovulating, I think. Oh, okay. So that the eggs don't release, because they need to get them out before they release, right? But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what all goes on there. Buddy, you can't be a part of this, I'm sorry. I know you're a part of everything. Not this one, buddy. No dogs allowed. Gotta keep it all clean here. Okay, let's, uh, okay, I need a Q-cap. All right, so first of all, pop these babies off. They should break off like that. If they don't break off, don't take it. <laughs> Alcohol swab those bad boys and let them dry. You never know what got onto them in the factory. Hopefully nothing. Medical supplies factory should be sterile, but uh, you never do know. And that's the the needle? Just the syringe. The, the needle's right here. Ah. Oh. This is just this, yeah. So, right, Q-cap. So this is a nifty little device. I know, uh, in the video, they didn't actually have this in the video explaining how to do this. So this might be a new thing. I don't know. But uh, basically, it just goes on here like a needle. Oh, it squirted a little. Mm -hmm. A little violent. Um, good thing I don't need it all. Um, but yeah, this is just to help you get everything out of the vials, basically. Need one ml. ML? Yeah. CC ML. And that should be half of that vial. Yes, exactly. Let's try to get all the air out. We got enough? Where am I? So frustrating because this plunger, it, uh. Oh, yeah, I got enough. Okay. Because it goes, if you let go of it, it just automatically goes up to the top and squirts everything out. It's very frustrating. Alright. So now i got to dissolve that powder. Powder number one. Don't shake it because that creates more bubbles, but gently swirl it. And now it fills on its own. Okay. Kind of. With a little bit of assistance. So you get a little pocket of air in there, right? Because you can push that air out later. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Number two. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. That's the end of that. Now we screw the needle on. Was I supposed to take the cap off first? Mm -hmm. You pull the cap straight up. Mm -hmm. Aha! There we go. Oh. There we go. Ready? Yeah, saw a drip. Okay. Chevy, no. no. Go. Hey, you'll see the spots from yesterday. <laughs> They're so hard to see. <laughs> <laughs> you open that for me. Yep. There you go. Thank you. All right. Where should we go today? Maybe right here? 
Is that about an inch away from the other site? Thankfully, and you just grab your fat if you have any. I got no problems. <laughs> and pinch. One down, one to go. So that was the complicated one that we actually have to mix ourselves. The next one's actually like ready to go pretty much. So much easier. I don't know why they all can't be like that, but I guess it has to stay in powder form until it's ready to be injected or something. I know that was probably painful for some of you to watch, but like I get so overwhelmed by that one. <laughs> I just, why can't they make it so much simpler like this Gonal F pen? Also, this one, this one kind of hurts when it goes in. Mm. I don't know if it's the thickness of the liquid or, or if I go too slow or too deep. I don't know. I'm not a nurse and I'm not an expert, but. This one's sort of more like an EpiPen. Yeah, uh, no, not like an EpiPen, like a insulin Insulin pen. pen. Okay. But I myself have never seen an insulin pen. It just looks like an EpiPen to me at first glance. This is it. It literally has a little pen thingy on the top here, so it's like a pen. But it has a needle in there. And then you can uh, like judge to see how much you're actually giving yourself. It's, like, it's zero there now, but you can set to how much actually goes in. There's all kinds of different dosages. You just turn the little end, we'll show you. And then you can reuse it uh, with a different needle, obviously, but you can reuse the pen. Alrighty. So that's the medicine in there. And then you just put a new needle on this thing every time. It's really convenient. I wish that the other one was just like this one. Get a fresh alcohol swab. Give her a wipe. Got a new needle here. Just gonna... Don't ever overturn. You just want it on there firmly, but not to the point where it's gonna be hard to take off. And then my dosage, there's a little window there. My dosage is 225. See, there's all kinds of different numbers here. And 225. That's me. So it's ready to go now, eh? I'll I have to prime it because it's the second use. Believe so, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I already see the little droplet in the cap. Okay. Diesel, can you go? You for a second. Thank you for the kiss. Very sharp objects. But extremely small, so the needles themselves don't hurt. It's more like the liquid going in that kind of hurts. And that's the part that really causes the bruising. Okay, so a fresh alcohol swab again. And don't forget to hold it for five seconds. Yes. Yeah, you gotta push it in and it administers on its own and uh, don't let go of the plunger until the needle's already out of you, too. And hold it in there for a little bit so it doesn't come squirting out. Okay, where should we uh, put another... Call this my Easter egg basket, because I'm going to be full of little purple Easter eggs. It's almost <laughs> Easter. Uh, whereabouts? Maybe here? Yeah. Let's go there. I'll have a pattern going on by the end of the week. I bruise so easily. Not everybody bruises this bad, but I know most people get some. All right, okay. And then you release. <sighs> Did not feel good. Nope, that doesn't feel good at all. Nope. Different than yesterday? Oh yeah. A little more sensitive, I guess. Ah. Yesterday that one didn't hurt at all, you said. No. Not at all. <laughs> well, what did uh, describe the pain and what is it like a burning feeling? Or? A little bit of burning, a little bit of pressure. Just pinchy. Pinchy. 
not crinkling. Was it the liquid that, or was it the needle that? Oh, uh, I think I put the needle in at a little bit of an angle, and I know I'm not supposed to do that, and I realized it as it was going in. Oh, okay. But I think it's the liquid, too. Okay, and this one yesterday left like an instant bruise. Yeah, sure enough, this one, too. Okay. Well, I know that's probably painful for nurses or people who have done this before to watch. Like, oh my gosh, she has no idea what she's doing. No, she doesn't. <laughs> oh, and you're supposed to check the window to make sure it's at zero once you're done. And it was? Yeah. Okay, so the whole dose made it in. Yeah, first, sure did. So this is the second time. So she's got three more before we go back for another ultrasound. Yep. And then- Friday morning? Yeah. yeah, Friday morning. Yeah. Actually, we're going there Friday morning, right? And this would be for Friday evening. Right? No, because we did Sunday, Monday, oh, Tuesday, Wednesday, right. Thursday. Thursday. Here's Friday morning we go in. Okay, well, you saw it here on Trucker Josh Vlogs. <laughs> IVF injections. Hopefully no. we don't have to get smooth at this. <laughs> <laughs> And you subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'm sure you did not suspect to be learning about this. So, there you go, I surprised you. Truckers have lives and wives, too. Yeah, it's all part of this trucker's life. And so far, your body has been handling it all right, right? So for the first dose for the first day, you hadn't really noticed anything big? Just, it's strange, I can't find it on any websites. I had a really, really weird... Uh, like pulsating twitch in my muscle right in the center of my abdomen lower abdomen all day off and on actually started last night in my sleep and it doesn't hurt or anything it's just weird and it looks like somebody's trying to punch their way out <laughs> it's really weird but I couldn't find it on any of the websites so it must just be me being weird I don't know mm. but uh, that and one what like two hour long emotional breakdown today other than that it's been fine <laughs> Thankfully, I was alone, so I didn't take it out on anybody. So that was that was our IVF injection experience. Well, mostly her experience. <laughs> I watched and and cringed a little bit because it it's it's a lot of stuff that her body's got to go through, and it, I can't imagine. But women are pretty awesome, aren't they? They can make babies in there. It's crazy, if you think about it, like, man, I can never do that. <laughs> I will never know what that feels like or anything. I'll never know what it's like to pee standing up, so It's pretty awesome. Go. It's pretty awesome. There you go. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it is pretty cool. You can go anywhere. <laughs> pee anywhere. The world is our urinal. <laughs> it's fantastic. Thanks for hanging out with us today and uh, tagging along on our journey. Maybe we'll show it to you guys again once we get better at this. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be better and quicker at it by the end of the week. I'll show you my, my Easter basket of eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Do the bruises hurt? I can touch them. A little bit. They're a little bit firm, a little bit tender. Especially when I'm doing dishes and stuff and I rub up against the counter. But they're not super painful. It's not like excruciating pain. Well, we'll keep you guys updated, and uh, next weekend we go in for another appointment, so we'll take you along then too, and let you know how it goes. See you tomorrow. <laughs>